Hello, my wonderful Librans. I hope you all are doing amazing. Today's video will be your general reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay, guys, so we have angels are watching over you, supported, protected, loved, and encouraged. So these cards actually have a shadow message as well. It is a new deck, so I'm going to be diving into the guidebook really quickly here. But what I'm just picking up on, you know, just looking at the image here, is definitely protection, okay? Some of you may be going through what may feel like a very stressful period, and you're kind of like, how did I end up here? Or how do I get out of this, right? It could be that some of you feel like you're on some sort of a hamster wheel. And so you're receiving some sort of encouragement from your angels here. Let's see, number 14. Okay, so angels are watching over you. This card is absolute divine confirmation that your angels are with you now. You may have been seeing signs and asking yourself, is this a message from my angels? It's perfectly normal to question. Even we do the same thing from time to time. However, this card is your validation that the messages you're receiving are angelic in nature. Trust the signs, trust your intuition. Your angels are near you now. So the shadow message of this card, since I am reading for a lot of you, you guys may be feeling the shadow side here. The first thing we want you to know when this card is inverted is that you're never ever truly alone. You may be so distracted or challenged by life that you aren't seeing the signs from your angels. It can be difficult to stay awake to those messages when life is in an upheaval. You haven't been deserted. Um, your angels will never stop loving and supporting you, even if you can't see it right now. Ask your angels to up the volume of their guidance to you. Okay. And the color activation we have for you guys is white and purple. The color white is a reminder that your, um, your, you are energy first. You're always connected to the divine. The color purple helps you feel connected to your divine plan and to know you're truly on the right path. Okay. So what I see here for you guys is definitely maybe going through a period where you're kind of questioning, uh, you know, where you are. Maybe there's a little bit of uncertainty, lack of clarity. And for others of you, you know, plain and simple, you are in a tough situation. You know, you're kind of like, how do I navigate? How do I maneuver through my emotions at this time? And maybe you feel like you're lacking the support around you, whether it's because you feel like the, those around you don't understand what you're going through, or you genuinely feel alone as if you have no one to speak to. So this is definitely a card of protection, letting you know your angels are, you know, watching over you. And for some of you in particular, what I'm getting is you do have a past on uh, you know, figure who is watching over you, okay? This is coming through to me as a female figure. So some of you may have a female guardian that has passed on um, who is currently, you know, uh, watching over you and protecting you, okay? So let's see what your financial message for the week is. Some of you are walking, you, you're walking in your purpose, right? But you may be at a very confused space where things are not working out for you. So you're kind of questioning, am I on the right path? And I feel like this card is just confirmation that you are, um, because sometimes you can be on the right path, but there may be some sort of obstacles just because you're on the right path. Doesn't mean that it's going to be smooth sailing or easy all the time. So let's see here. Okay. So the financial message for you guys, we have expression. Um, you, you need work that lets you express your creative self. You could do well at writing, blogging, or a career in communication. Okay. So some of you, you know, you could be a blogger, you could be an influencer, or you have some sort of a creative outlet here, which is a good thing. Or for others of you, this is what you're feeling called to do. Maybe you're working a very mundane job and it's time for you to figure out, you know, something that you could do, even if it's on, even if it means starting off by doing it on the side. Um, so that, you know, you have a way, like almost like a creative outlet. Like some of you feel like you're working a job where you can't really express yourself. And maybe for others of you, you have a talent, a skill, a gift that you really want to share with the world here. Okay. So let's see what's going on for you. 
some of you could be, um, you know, really good at writing, maybe creative writing, or it could just be like a form of expression. Even if it's not something that you want to do to generate income, uh, you know, through, it could be that maybe you want to get back into journaling. Maybe you want to get back into poetry, that sort of thing. Some of you could be seeing feathers as well. I'm being drawn to the uh, feather that she is writing with. Okay. So we have the lovers on the bottom of the deck and we have the king of swords. You're trying to make a very clear decision this week with the king of swords and the lovers Libra. I do feel like this could be a life altering decision, something very big, you know, it could be, you know, relocating. It could even be about a very important relationship in your life. But with the king of swords here, you're making a very logical decision. So even though you may, you know, if it's a relationship and you feel connected to this person, the king of swords is being very honest with yourself. It's when you you know, when you don't have your uh, head in the clouds and you're just able to kind of see things for what they are and your decision is based off of that or it's coming from that space there. So some of you may have Gemini placements in your chart or you're going to be making a decision pertaining to a Gemini in your life, okay? This could be a boss figure, a brother, a sister, a mother, a father, a friend, a lover, okay? So let's see. So we have the Queen of Swords here, the Magician. You know what I see here off the bat, guys, or what I'm picking up on intuitively, Two of Pentacles, yeah. Not only do you have a decision to make, Libra, I feel like for some of you, you are upset about something not working out for you, but you are looking at the light side of it, or you are... It's almost like, okay, even if it's a situation that's not working out for you, you're like, let me accept it for what it is. And that is your power this week. So instead of saying, you know what, I feel defeated or, you know, this is not how I wanted things to transpire. You're saying, okay, yeah, I might feel defeated, but I see things for what they are. So what are my next steps? So some of you could be feeling a lot more solution oriented this week four of cups, seven of cups, something that you're no longer interested in, something that used to work for you that no longer does. Okay. So this could be a job that is just not, uh, you know, emotionally fulfilling you any longer. We have the wheel of fortune crossing. Okay. And then we have the justice card, which is your energy. So you're, it's almost like you, there's some sort of a decision where you're like, okay, you know, logic is here and my heart is here. My emotions are here, but the truth is here. You know what I mean? And so you're trying to make a balanced decision, but you're also trying to be very honest with yourself. We have the queen of cups. We have the five of wands and we have the hanged man. Okay. For some of you, there's like a conflict, okay, with the five of wands. This could even be petty conflict, something that you feel like could be avoided. But with the hanged man, it is causing you to feel a bit stuck or stagnant, right? The hanged man could be when you're having a shift in perspective, but you're more so thinking about a situation as opposed to acting on it. Okay, so that could be the reason why we do have this Queen of Swords here, you trying to focus on a solution, but you may be feeling a bit confused with that Seven of Cups energy. Now, with the Magician um, and the Queen of Swords, I see you and the Wheel of Fortune, I would like to say you are manifesting yourself out of a very tough, uh, you know, situation or your current circumstances are not where you want to be. Okay, like I said, something that used to fulfill you no longer is and you're focused on coming out of that. Okay, this could be a relationship, like I said, this could be a job situation like your financial card says there. But with the Two of Pentacles, the main thing that I'm getting is a decision that you have to make, but it requires... Your, it requires your emotions, but it requires more logic than your emotions. So I don't want to say that it's a, you know, head over heart decision because your heart is still involved, but your mind is, should be more involved or the truth of the matter should be something that you're taking into account or acknowledging while you make this decision. And you're going to know how that resonates with you. Um, now with the wheel of fortune, I do see things, you know, um, turning in your favor, you finally feeling like, okay, this is like, uh, feeling almost relieved. Okay. Now I don't feel like there's constantly a blockage or an obstacle in my way. Things are starting to flow, uh, that sort of energy, but with the seven of cups, uh, you know, there comes a lot of options, 
but it also speaks about not every option is going to be something that serves you for your highest good. So like you may have a lot of options when it comes to being emotionally fulfilled, right? Even if it doesn't have anything to do with love, but it's about is everything or is every cup that's in front of me going to be something positive, going to be something that actually benefits me. So again, your spread here is kind of screaming out decision to me. And with the justice as well as the queen of cups, I see you receiving some sort of justice or, or a situation feeling more fair when it comes to your emotions. Your emotions are definitely being highlighted this week. So it could be a very unfair situation. It could even be a legal issue, but the scales are balancing here with the justice upright. And with the Queen of Swords, you know, it, this is an energy of you figuring out some sort of truth, but also those around you knowing what the truth of a situation is. So that's why I do say it could be a legal matter or maybe you felt very misunderstood and that could have felt very unfair in a situation but someone or more than one person is seeing your perspective now so your truth is being revealed and this is helping you feel more at ease um with the queen of cups again this is not only about feeling more emotionally balanced it's about doing things that make you happy um you know self-care is a priority this week pouring into your own cup finding that time for yourself you know on a day-to-day -day basis so that you don't feel overwhelmed you know do you feel overworked if so uh you know when can you take a break during your day even if you're really busy maybe it's before bed right having your favorite tea before bed or, or running yourself a bath here. There's something that you could do to wind down and help you feel more balanced is pretty much what I'm picking up on here. I also see, guys, some of you are ready to kind of come out of um, a period of isolation or you know enough to get something uh, started here, right? So I'm the image that I'm getting is like a flower blooming. So like, you know, you may have been very closed off. So this could be you being isolated when it comes to, you know, new relationships, or it could be that you have a new idea that you want to, uh, you know, dabble in, but it could be that you felt like you did not know enough, but you're more ready for something than you think is how it's coming through to me. Um, five of wands, of course, guys, it could be conflict. Like I said, some sort of petty conflict, or it's a very competitive, uh, environment that you're in. And so either way, it is causing you to feel stuck, but I don't see you being stuck for long. It is more so about having that shift in perspective and saying, okay, now that I see things differently, what am I going to do moving forward? How am I, you know, going to, um, you know, what are my next steps going to be? The only advice that I really have for you guys with the hanged man is when you do have a shift in perspective or you do have an idea or a solution is to act on it. Don't spend more time thinking about it and thinking about, well, what, what if, and you know, that sort of thing just you know act on it say okay i found a solution let me just take the first step okay um and i think that you know this week you know you may desire some sort of i don't i don't want to say you need but you may desire some sort of like uh words of um encouragement here with the wheel of fortune and the two of pentacles it seems like it's a little bit of a difficult week you are feeling overwhelmed by your responsibilities emotionally you're feeling a bit bombarded seven of cups could even be emotional confusion but you're receiving the clarity at the end of it so um with the wheel of fortune very positive message magician you have the power to change your reality the magician speaks about having all the tools that you need in front of you but it's just about doing right and so I feel like for many of you, even if you're in kind of a crummy situation, you're able to get yourself out of it. Of course, it is easier said than done, but I do see that you hold that power to say, okay, you know what? No more of this, or I'm not happy living like this, or I'm not happy in this situation and I want to, you know, take myself out of it. I also see here that... Um, there may be something falling apart here, right, Libra? And so in traditional tarot with the magician, right, the wand that he's holding, um, it's pretty much symbolic for sometimes, you know, you can have two things come together or two energies come, come together or just for something to work out, but you just, you may need to kind of break it apart and reassemble it. Does that make sense? So it's like, um, you know, if it's an idea and you're feeling overwhelmed, right? You're like, you know, I, I feel like this is my purpose, but I'm feeling overwhelmed. Maybe there's something you could be doing differently. So it's not changing the idea completely. It's more so changing your approach or, um, 
making you know minor changes or altering little things tweaking things here and there so that you can have a different result okay so let's see um, what your closing message is Love. Divine source is the idea that no person, place, or thing is your salvation. Only love itself. I feel like for many of you, this is not only about focusing on the positive aspects of your life. I do feel like you have support around you. When I see these two cards um, and I'm reading them, you know, together here, I do feel like it's about allowing, um, you know, more love into your life, being open to receive here. Okay. And I do feel like the love that you're seeking, it's within you. The answers that you're seeking, it's within you. And I know that can be something you don't want to hear when you're going through a crummy situation, but also sometimes looking for love in external spaces could uh you know backfire on you or it could affect you or impact you in a negative way in the long run right sometimes it's about okay can i find that within myself first prior to relying on someone or something else like a vice to give me that okay so my wonderful librans that is what i'm getting for you this week i really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today and uh thank you so much for your time